When this American mom got on the bus, she spotted a teen who was sitting calmly. Unaware of what was beneath his jeans, she carelessly screamed at him to give up his seat for her. What happened next left her completely embarrassed. Thomas Scott is a pharmacy technician at Walgreen, located in Fort Worth, Texas. On a particular day after working his regular 10-hour shifts, he walked down to the bus station, both tired and happy to return home. Thankfully, the bus arrived just in time. Despite being so exhausted, he still greeted the bus operator and got in. He then walked slowly to the back of the bus, where he found an empty seat. He was so relieved as he sat down after a long day at work. At this point, he never knew that he was in for a remarkable surprise. The bus started moving again. Unexpectedly, his eyes met a face he didn't know too well. He saw a calm teenage boy about the age of 18. It happened that just a few people commute on the bus, and they usually take the same path at the same time daily, so he became familiar with their faces. However, he had never come across this lad before. The American kept his gaze on him. He then noted that the boy was sitting on a seat reserved for people with special needs. Why was he sitting there? He thought to himself. The bus then got to its next bus stop, and more people hopped in. One of the passengers was a mom with two kids. After she got in, she started looking intently at the teenage boy from where she was standing. She was staring at him disgustingly. At this point, it was clear to Thomas that the woman was visibly angry at the boy. But why? Well, the impatient woman was annoyed that he was sitting in one of the seats meant for people with special needs when he appeared to be perfectly healthy. How could he be so ignorant, she thought. But was he? Keep watching to find out. Surprisingly, the teen paid no attention to her noticeable stares. The Walgreen employee, who was aware of all that had been happening, followed the young boy's eyes as he looked out of the window, observing the wooden houses and trees around. When he looked back at the woman, he was bothered. This was because he could perceive that she was already losing her patience. He also recognized that by glaring at the teenager lividly, she was attempting to intimidate him to give up a seat. Unfortunately, her idea wasn't working. What she did next left Thomas and everyone on the bus stunned. After realizing that the young boy would keep on ignoring her passive aggression towards him, she made up her mind to approach him directly. She walked up to him. The young lad raised his head to look at her as she was approaching him. Just as he got in front of him, she stopped and talked in a loud, firm voice. Do you realize you're sitting in a reserved seat for people with special needs? If you had any manners, you'd offer that seat to someone more deserving she said angrily. When she was done ranting, she was expecting the young man to apologize and get up. However, he did none of that. She was stunned. She could not believe that he did not move an inch or say a single word to her. This got her angrier, and she lashed out at him furiously. She said, I have two young children. You should have offered that seat to me the moment you saw me step on this bus, young man. Just as you thought, she got the attention of everyone on the bus at this moment. All the passengers went silent and looked on in surprise. Thomas, who also noticed that the bus driver was observing the situation through his mirror, braced himself for what was to come next. As the woman yelled, the teenager took a quick look at everyone staring at him. He realized that some were shaking their heads as though he had done something wrong. He also noticed that others were interested in knowing how he would react. However, what he did next was not what anyone could imagine. The youngster looked like he wasn't bothered about what was happening. He picked up his phone as if he was prepared to call for help if anything went wrong. Amazingly, without saying anything, he got up from his seat. As you can imagine, the woman started to grin. For her, she thought that at last she would have her way. However, she was completely wrong. The teen put one of his hands on the bus's handlebars so he could steady himself. He then looked at the impolite woman and spoke for the first time. You think you deserve this seat just because you're a mom? He said. The words he said took the pharmacy technician, who had been following the whole situation by surprise. He thought that the young lad had some guts to be able to stand up to the strong-headed woman while everyone was watching them. However, he was concerned that the boy had to be careful because the passengers could turn against him. Instantly, the woman's grin was replaced with rage. She couldn't believe he had just said that to her. The woman replied to him in anger, Yes, I certainly deserve it more than you. The young lad laughed sarcastically. He then bent down and held his jeans to reveal what no one expected. 
He paid close attention to everyone looking at him as he attempted to get something from his dark blue denim jeans. Everyone on the bus was very anxious because they didn't know what he was about to pull out of his pants. Even the woman never knew what she was in for. Everyone became very alert at this point. They thought the worst was about to happen. Was he about to pull out a weapon? Thomas also immediately thought that the worst could happen. He became worried. His heart was thumping as he kept his eyes on the teenager's hands. What was he about to do? He thought. At that moment, he saw a bulge underneath the boy's jeans. His blood ran cold. Just then, the teen raised his jeans and pushed out something metallic looking. It shocked everyone on the bus. When the passengers finally realized it was the boy's prosthetic leg, a loud gasp was heard on the bus. Immediately, everyone was upset that the boy was forced to prove himself. They felt sorry for him. Thomas watched on as the rude woman's face became red with guilt. She felt completely embarrassed and was speechless. She shamefully returned to where she was standing without uttering another single word. Safe to say, she got what she deserved. The reserved lad went back to his seat and fixed up his jeans. Everyone on the bus went silent. They couldn't believe what just happened. All of a sudden, an intense feeling came over Thomas. He felt very sad for the teenage boy. Right there, he remembered his brother, who was also an amputee after he lost his limb during a battle. Thinking about his brother going through what the young boy had just experienced made him feel so sorry for him. He knew the boy would feel embarrassed, so he came up with an idea. What he did next for him was so remarkable. He yelled at the top of his lungs, Man, that leg is so cool. Shame on you, lady. Amazingly, his cheerful words motivated the other passengers on the bus to do the same. Some gave the boy some words of encouragement, while others apologized for the experience the insensitive woman put him through. This made the 18-year-old teen happy, and within a short while, he began to smile again. But that was not all. Thomas made this day even more special. After everyone had made the boy feel more comfortable, he walked up to him and sat by his side. He told him he had a brother who had a similar condition. Thomas stated that his brother is doing well despite his situation, and even won medals in active sports. He then gave his number to the boy and asked him to reach out to him anytime he needed someone to talk to. The boy's oval-shaped face lit up instantly. The grateful teen told Thomas that he had never come across anyone like him. Finally, he had found someone who truly understood his struggles. The both of them ended up becoming good friends. Never judge people by how they look. You might be pleasantly surprised to find what's underneath it all. What have you learned from this story? Share with me in the comments. Till next time, stay safe.